Hi, I'm Eileen McKenna. I'm excited to share with you this St. Patrick's Day themed watercolor lesson. Today we're going to paint this easy Irish landscape. Let's get started. This is the paper I like to use, this fluid easy block cold press finish, 9 by 12. And what I do and what I've already done is I cut it to be 9 by 11 because then the artwork is proportionally better for an 8 by 10 mat. Then the next step is to use painter's tape and tape your paper to your board. This is just a piece of cardboard I have below it. And I tape the paper to it so that when the paper gets wet, it doesn't wrinkle and buckle. Now the next step, we're going to take a ruler and we're going to mark two inches from the top on both sides and make a light line for the horizon. Next step is going to be with our white crayon. I'm going to show you, because you won't be able to see, I'm going to show you on this piece of printer paper what we're trying to do with our white crayon. From the pencil line down, we want to make these little squigglies, almost like you're drawing like little clouds. And as you get towards the bottom of the paper, the squigglies should get bigger. So we're going to do this on our paper, their white crayon. But I wanted to show you what these lines should look like. And you can do as many as you want. Okay, so now I'm going to take my white crayon. A white crayon is great because what it will do is repel the watercolor paint. So I'm going to start making these random little squigglies, smaller at the top by the pencil, and then starting to get bigger. As I get closer to the bottom of the page, they're getting bigger. Okay, now I'm going to take my number 10 brush, or you could use a round number 8 brush, and I'm going to get a really nice amount of green on it. Before you do that, tear off a little piece of paper towel and wrinkle it up like this big, because we might need that. Okay, so I'm going to get the green on my brush, dip it in the water so it's really wet, and then from the pencil line down, I keep dipping my brush in to get more paint. So from the pencil line down, I'm going to paint it all in green. The green I'm using is called Hooker's Green, and it's a very yellow, grassy green. If the green you have is too like blue, you can always add a little bit of yellow to it, or with blue and yellow, you can mix your own green. It's okay if you're, if below the pencil line is a little bumpy, it doesn't have to be a straight line. So I continue dipping and getting paint and painting all the way to the bottom. A nice rich green. Oops. Okay. Now when I'm done, I'm going to use that little piece of paper towel 
and anywhere that the, the crayon blobs have green in them, I'm just going to blot that off. It's okay if there's a little bit, we just don't want like a dark green. Okay, now we're going to let our painting dry. If you're enjoying this painting tutorial, I have another Irish themed one. I'm calling it Fields of Green. It's perfect for beginners. We practice a lot of different watercolor techniques. Visit my website, eileenmckenna.com forward slash shop for more information. Once your painting is dry, we're going to first paint the sky. I've cleaned out my water and now I'm going to turn my board. I turn it this way so the sky is on the right hand side because I'm right handed. If you're left handed, turn it the other way. I'm using a round size 8 brush and I'm going to use a blue. This is like a turquoise blue. So I get a nice amount of the blue on my brush, dip it in the water, and I'm going to paint a top area. Then I'm going to clean the brush and continue painting. I'm going to clean the brush again, blot it on the paper towel so it's not too wet. and continue painting. I've created this fade where it, the sky is darker up here and then as you get to the horizon line it gets lighter. If it's too light you can just repeat the process. Put the paint here Clean your brush, clean your brush. Be careful not to nick the green because it could bleed into your sky. Now I'm going to turn my board back. And I'm going to be working with raw sienna. You basically want like a yellowy tannish color. You can mix yellow and brown if you don't have raw sienna. It's, it's not critical. I'm going to switch to a thinner brush. I'm going to use a four and I'm going to get some raw sienna and I'm just going to kind of dab it over my whitish areas. And remember, it won't it won't adhere that well because of the white crayon that we put down. But I just wanted to add a little touch of this tan color. And then we have one final step. I'm going to switch brushes again and use a thinner brush. I'm going to use a, a one and I'm going to use black. I don't want my brush to be too drippy so I'm not going to dip it in the water after I get the paint. I want the brush to be pretty dry and saturated. You could blot it on the paper towel to help absorb the extra moisture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add details to our blobs, which are actually our sheet. I'm going to add some, the head of the sheep, legs,
And in this back layer, these are tiny little details because the sheep are farther away and they're smaller. As you get a little closer and the, sh and the sheep are bigger, you can make the details bigger. Just a head, some legs. And your blobs have transformed into sheep. I have them going in different directions, some face right, some face left. Some have their heads down, eating the grass. When your painting is dry, you can very gently peel up the tape being careful not to tear the paper. And that's it. Visit my website, EileenMcKenner.com forward slash shop for more information on this Fields of Green tutorial.